All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CADCast episode number 732. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who needs no introduction. Oh, I get it. That's the joke. Right. I probably did that one before, but fuck it. No, I don't think you have. I enjoyed that. That was funny. As long as you don't think I did it before. That's the I don't, important thing. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. So welcome to the show, everybody. We're back from our summer break. Well, you two went on a break. I was here the whole time. Oh, whose fault is that? I was just sitting there, sitting there for two weeks. Yeah, <laughs> Staring at the just, monitor. Right. Just waiting <laughs> yep. for the, waiting for the uh, Skype meeting to start. I had my Zoom open and everything. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yep. How did that no, go? That's okay. It, it went a- just fine. Yeah. I, I had to work. It, it's okay. I don't, I don't miss, uh. Go, I'll, I'll go on vacation again at some point. Mm. My kids got to go away. So Sabrina's away again. She was in Virginia last week. She's in Toronto this week. I've been to those places. Where were you guys? Are you not saying? Is it like a secret? Yeah, Ship uh, and I went to China. Yeah. yeah. Wow, together? Yeah. Hmm? Slow boat? Special meeting. I can't tell you because people are going to boycott us if they find out. <laughs> so don't tell anybody. You, I, I uh, went to the Outer Banks. Have you been there a while? That? I've never been to the Outer Banks. You should try the Outer Banks sometime. My yeah. fraternity brothers would take, took a lot of trips to the Outer Banks when they were younger. Sure. That was like a party spot. Is there a reason you, you don't like the Outer Banks, Wombat? Uh, too many banks. Not inner enough. Not enough. Not inner enough. I like, I like my banks inner. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, it was it was a good time. It was uh, we were up on the in Corolla, which is on the north side of the Outer Banks, and on the way there, we we happened to cross the uh, the home of Gravedigger, the monster <laughs> truck Gravedigger. He has his own house. It, it's it's like yeah, it's like the dude. It looks like it's probably like the dude's house that invented Gravedigger, and then they turned it into a Gravedigger. I don't know, roadside attraction. <laughs> you mean it broke down there and they were like, hmm, we can either move this fucking thing or we no, can just got, like, open up a shop around it. Yeah, they got, they're like, they I were see. actively working on okay, okay. monster trucks and things. It's so did a- you buy a monster truck? I mean, that's the question then. That's the real question. Did you I, I, get bought a, one? I bought a hat. That's what I bought. <laughs> I bought a hat and I had the, uh, the bloody beer that they served in the Gravedigger Diner. <laughs> Was it good? No, I don't, I don't <laughs> recommend the Gravedigger Diner Bloody Beer. Are you familiar with the Bloody Beer? No. I am not. So, is that like a Bloody Mary? But it's like a Bloody beer? Mary, but they put Bloody Mary mix in a Corona. That is the grossest thing I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. I didn't know what it was when I ordered it. I'm like, oh, the Bloody Beer. They must. It must just be a beer that they're like trying to make all Gravediggery. And then it came, and I asked, "What is this?" But what <laughs> and, is? And she told me. What does grave digger have to do with blood exactly? It's got, uh, he's a grave digger. Yeah, is there blood, blood in grave digging? Is there a lot of blood in grave digging? I feel like there isn't. In everything. Oh, okay. I come from a long line of grave diggers, and I can tell you. It's, it's a bloody job? I feel like it's job. not. The blood must Actually, be dried that's out. Where, by that's then. where my real last name comes from, is because back in the day, we you worked were grave at night. Because you yeah. worked at night. Mm-hmm. Well, you better learn some shit about grave digging. Digging, digging graves in Transylvania. That's what my ancestors did. Nice. You're going to enjoy the new Monsters movie, I think. I, I saw that trailer. I don't think I will. <laughs> I saw that trailer, too. No we, good? We should talk about no that good. later. Let's talk about yeah. that. Let me add we'll that. We'll talk about the, that uh, later. Yeah. The, the rest of the vacation was all beaches and lighthouses and looking at wild horses, that type of stuff. How much but, sunscreen did you put on and what level of sunscreen? Uh, I think it was just, just 50. I think it was either 50 or 70. Dude, living dangerously know. over there. 50 or 70 is where I live. Most days. Right. With that hat, that you can maybe get away with 50, I feel. Uh, well, no, it wasn't this. You mean my vacation hat? Well, I saw the, this, the big hat, big vacation hat. Yeah. yeah, the big vacation hat is is yeah. pretty good. I got one I, of those, I like too. that. Yeah. You got to so, have, you gotta it have was, that. It was fun. Splashed around in the ocean. Climbed up to the top of lighthouses. Went like, oh, it's pretty windy up here. I don't know if it's I safe. like it being windy up here. Right. I could do all those things on Long Island. Like I could go to the top of a lighthouse and I could go yeah. to the ocean. I feel like it's probably different. Having That's been a, to Long Island and been to more drunk people. Outer Banks. 
a little different. Have but you haven't been to the beach on Long Island. You've only been to like where Cheapy is, and that's not the beach area. Mm, I have a feeling like I don't see as many like Long Island bumper stickers around as I do OBS. Well, you, see, you might see some Montauk, some the ends as well. Oh, there's plenty of Long Island bumper stickers. Yeah. Mm. They mostly say <laughs> um, let's go Brandon. Wah, wah. Oh yes, yeah, I've seen no, those. No, but there are Long Island bumper stickers. Sure, I'm sure there's more there's people. Than there. I didn't say that there weren't any Long Island. Stop bumper talking stickers. shit about Long Island. We'll kick your fucking ass I right now. Saying, there's, there's more. If we were to do the math, there's more OBX bumper stickers than there are Long Island bumper stickers. Hmm, I don't know about that because that's I, one I, sticker against like a lot of stickers. I feel like it's a lot of different Long Island stickers. I'm pretty confident in this assessment. Hmm. I, hmm. I I don't think you understand I, like I the, the geography of how many people feed yeah, into a lot of people OBX. go to the outer. It's like you know, it's 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 a right. that's it's a tourist thing. that that only exists for tourism. The cash grab, as opposed to Long Island, which does not only exist for tourism. Right, it's just millions of people live here. Just yeah, you know, and but we go to the beach. And we we like, do. We I was like there on uh, Saturday, and I was in the ocean, and it was lovely. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice. I took a mid uh, southwest road trip and drove 1,200 miles around. Uh, went from Den from Denver. Uh, like imagine a counterclockwise circle from Denver, starting and ending in Denver, but going through parts of Colorado, parts of New Mexico, and back up through parts of Colorado, and then back out here. And I got to nice. say, it's a lot like Forza, which was the Forza. Horizon that was in Colorado. Was it the first one? One of them took place in Colorado for sure because they had the whole music festival there. Remember? The I music will take festival in Forza. Remember that? That's no. all of them. But that in the mountains and stuff. Well, I know they're all pretty much. It's just about the color. Like it was the red one. The red one. Do you remember the one where most everything was red and brown? Was that three, maybe two. Horizon. Yeah, I forget. It was, I don't know. Anyway. No, the third one was Australia, right? Wasn't it Australia, then England, and then Mexico? Yeah. That's three, so, four, five. So two or two one. Or one. I think it was one. Yeah. Where was oh. two? Long Island. Long, oh, I forgot. It was Long Island. It, you know, that, that Forza that everyone loved where the roads were just flat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> have, just, you, have you ever it, driven? It was the really exciting one where you get to go like 70 miles an hour, then five miles an hour. Uh-huh. Right. 70 miles an hour, then five miles an hour. <laughs> This is more like roads that are straight and just go as far as you can see. And sometimes <laughs> there's no cars at all. And the speed limit's 75, but the reality is if you're in the left lane, there's no speed limit because people just, you got to be doing at least 90. And I'm not used to driving that fast because here the speed limit is 55 and you can get away with 65. And maybe so 70. Did you, did you like rent a cool car or did you just get a regular car? I rented a cool car because like I have a cool car normally. So you got to have like something that's at least as good or close to your well, normal car. Well, I assume car. like if I was going on a trip like this where the bulk of the trip, like I knew yes, I was going to be doing heavy correct. driving, yes. I would also rent a special car. Correct. That's why I'm asking the question. The good I was way to do to that, the good way yes. to do that, I don't know if you've done this before, but there's basically an app that's just like Airbnb, but for cars called Turo. And you can scroll through people's cars and basically get whatever you want if you're willing to to pay for it and they allow the type of mileage that you're looking I, to do. We we had a Toro, Toyota Corolla SUV. From in Turo? Corolla, <laughs> in the to... Corolla section of the Outer Banks? Yes. Oh, no. I rented an Audi S4 and I got it up to like 98 or so, but I'm very uncomfortable driving quickly i understand did you stop to eat in new mexico because i heard that we stayed was- there we stayed in new mexico we stayed in one town every night we moved on we stayed in denver grand junction uh we stayed in a tp in the middle of nowhere colorado which was like a fully decked out tp like air conditioning television shower like <laughs> but the walls are there's no wall so you can hear everything outside now and you and your wife shared a tp you didn't have separate ones N- no that would make no sense there's only one uh, tv there's I only know, one tv i didn't know if you were relaxed or if you're too tense oh stop it you did you write this ahead of time no but i wish i did right no oh, you did a good job thank you i thought that was funny um no they only had one tp it's an air it's an airbnb thing it was pretty cool actually except uh 
it's weird being able to hear like every noise outside. Did you have red and green chilies in New Mexico? I did. Do you know what they call that when a you... Christmas burrito? You see, you watch too much fucking Food Network. Yeah, I do. I, that is a hundred percent accurate. Right, Christmas style is what they call. Mm-hmm. Like you can, if you get when you get the red chili sauce with the the green chili. What so do you I like better, that. red or green? Whatever, just eat everything. It's all That's so good. It. Sounds, sounds Every, right. Everything is, was pretty good. Um, and we went to to Santa Fe and uh, Mesa Verde, which is, you can see like the Pueblo villages built into the side of the cliffs, which is crazy. Like you, you drive up a mountain, you have to like drive like an hour inside a park. And then, which is all like the driving is fucking crazy. It's like, a, it's like Forza, like, you know, curvy roads, like there's no like traffic really. So you can just... If, you know, you can die at any moment just by driving off the side of the mountain if you fuck up. So it's really on you to like not kill yourself and your your family while you're driving your your luxury Audi uh, sports sedans. But it was pretty fun and cool to see like, you know, you can walk through these these Pueblo artifact villages and you climb these ladders and shit. It was really, I would recommend uh, Mesa Verde if you go. I would recommend a Colorado trip for anyone living in like New York because it's so easy. It's like a one like three hour uh, plane ride there. My, yeah, my wife and daughter went there. My wife's best friend lives in Colorado. It's so fun. They went out there like a year ago and they had the best time. People are real go. nice there. Like they're friendly. Like one thing I noticed is that like New Yorkers are pretty loud in comparison to people there. Like I noticed, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> coming back to the restaurants here, just noticed how like loud everybody was at their table and how we didn't really hear people's conversations while we were eating dinner in restaurants in the Southwest. Um, and I also noticed, you know, we went to some like touristy areas in Colorado. Like I guess like um, Durango. We stayed in Monster at- Jam. We didn't know, no, but we stayed in a town called Durango, which is like a Wild West town. If you Mm -hmm. saw National Lampoon's Vacation, it's where Chevy Chase steals the money out of the cash register, where he tries to write the check to the guy. And anyway, (laughs) there's a lot of people that are still wearing, it's like a very, I've learned that this is a very big country during this trip, not just like the big sky and the big roads. I'm glad your horizons were, were broadened here. Yes, but like you still see people like a whole family will walk towards you wearing nine remember 911 t-shirts like or like the the american black american flag the black and white american flag t-shirts like a whole group of guys just like walking around like like that's normal like we should all wear black t-shirts with like 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 you know like those sayings like uh i forget what the sayings but like the kneeling before the flag i'd rather i don't know Fill fill in the meme of your choice, but it's I, just, I feel like yeah, you're you're finding out that the rest of the country exists because it's like a lot of I've saw a lot of license plates that I really had never seen before, like like Mississippi, uh, Tennessee, uh, New Mexico. I mean, I was in New Mexico, but <laughs> um, that was in like Colorado, though. I think a lot of uh, a lot of different states come to like some of these Colorado towns as for their vacation. I saw like a kid who looked like he looked exactly like he was ripped from uh, from vacation, the movie vacation. Uh, <laughs> the kid's son, the, like, the, you know, the living in the farmland, the I've, Randy Quaid's son, mm-hmm. like wearing the same clothes, like in a cowboy hat. I was like, what is going on here? Is, is this. This isn't your first time anywhere between the coast, right? No, I've been to Colorado before. I've been to Colorado before, but this, we went to a few especially touristy areas where you definitely got a lot of people from like Utah and like all, all kinds of places where I just, you don't see them walking down the street at you. And like, I see them looking at like Mrs. Cheapy. I'm like, these guys ever see an Asian woman before? I'm not sure about that. I certainly haven't seen too many around, you know, in the last few days. So it's just... I mean, it wasn't like a bad thing at all. It just still got me thinking like, yes, this is a big country and not just like the geography, but you know, we're still wearing these 9-11 shirts as a family. You know, and you see the families wearing like, you know, we're on the family trip and everybody's wearing the same shirt. Like, this, a same, this, but, Yeah, I, I'm enjoying this eye-opening moment for it you. Was cool. that, it was cool. It was cool. That you flew right over my my part of the country mm. and landed landed midstream 
and got out and looked around and and were like what is this <laughs> and you had the luxury of getting back on a plane and going back to your uh <laughs> it wasn't bad i'm not saying that any of this was bad i'm just saying it was it was really it, like nothing bad happened like I'm, no one... I'm not saying yeah i'm not saying yeah. that either it's it's just it, it's interesting to me that like this is the the take that you have because i haven't thought about that before you really haven't explored much of the middle america no. florida plenty been to florida plenty of times um florida is its own totally different thing right and i've been to colorado before but mostly denver and like colorado springs never like you know what it was it was because these places were so touristy it was it was a concentrated dose of like midwest people i think on vacation and everything that that brings and it wasn't you, bad you thing. You didn't have that up in Rochester? No, I mean, those are just like, you know, New Yorkers who talk a little different. I don't yeah, know, because that's kind of different. bordery. But, you know, you're, you're in college and you're not really interacting much with the community. It's, you're pretty isolated there. I don't, I, don't, I guess. I don't, it's I don't not, know. Yeah, yeah. It was, I mean, it was, it was cool. And I, uh, I'm trying to think. We went to the Santa Fe Opera. <laughs> so we went to the Santa Fe Opera to see Carmen and you know Mrs. Chibi was really excited she had to buy the tickets you know way in advance and we get there and the show was about to start we're so excited and the guy gets on stage he's like ladies and gentlemen I have have to tell you we've had a problem with the stage elevator and we cannot remove the set from this other show that we're going to be doing like next month and so like these two giant staircases are on the stage, on they're even on the pallet, like the pallet, they're like the, the loading pallet. And he's like, we can't move them, so we're just gonna do the show around, around the around this other set that's here for this other show. And it was fine, like you know, it was the singing was fine, but it was weird because I guess it was like a modern version of Carm. Not like I'm an opera person or anything, but they were right. So. They were all wearing like jeans and stuff. It was like a modern version. So it was like they really tried to like we're, save we're money. Wearing jeans. I hope you like jeans. It was weird. It's yeah. Mrs. Chibi jeans. did not it's like the jeans. It's a modern version of Carmen. And I heard a guy during the intermission say to his wife, you know, I think I like it better with this uh, other set uh, on the stage. Like he was like, you know, I think I wouldn't even like if it had a real set. I like it like this with the wrong set. And I was like, the fuck is wrong with people? Come on. This is I like, love that you went. To the Midwest, the Southwest, yeah, to go watch a a Broadway type show. It wasn't well, Broadway; it was an opera. It was wasn't a, not sure, have, but was the uh, Sight and Sound show not playing while you were? It's an out outdoor. There? No, no. First of all, this theater is outdoors and in the mountains, and so like you look at when you're watching the stage, you also in the background see like you're in the mountains, and it was very interesting. To see. That's how laid back the people are in Santa Fe. That. They see a show that's been fucked up, and they're like, "Oh, I like this better that it's fucked up." I always wanted to go to New Mexico. I'm kind of jealous of that. It's one. cool. The food was awesome. Still People can were nice. That. Yeah, I know. I still can. I'm not saying. I saw Kid Carson's grave. You know, Kid Carson. He was like a frontier guy. Killed a lot mm -hmm. of Indians for money. Mm -hmm. Went to his house. Saw his house. Nice. Um, did he have a plaque? He did have a plaque. I took a picture. He had a whole museum at his house. Forget about plaque. But we didn't. We didn't go to that. And um, we stayed at a we stayed at a weed. So, you know, Colorado has been legal for weed for a long time now. But they're I guess like they're slow about everything because everything just seems like at a slower pace there. Um, and we stayed at two ho two supposed weed hotels. One is like converting to a weed hotel soon. Um, and we got to hang out with Ben Gilbert there and watch like the ghost tours go by. Ben Gilbert was in town. So we got to hang out. What? You didn't know that Ben, Gil ben Gilbert was for something else. He was like there for, I don't know, some friend thing. That's, that's really strange. I know. But we got to hang out. We ate Vietnamese food and smoked big doinks on, my, on our patio while the ghost tours went by. So we made our own ghosts on the patio. Um, but, this, but that was just a, really just a regular hotel that's at some point is going to be a weed hotel. But the last stop we stayed and we played, we stayed at this place called the inhale uh, bed and brunch. And that place, when you check in, they're like, okay, you can smoke weed anywhere in the hotel, in your room, in the common areas, while you're eating, while you're eating at the, at the, like, 
there's a community table where like they have they bring a chef in to make to make food for everybody it's like staying in your like if you had a wealthy uncle or something and they had a nice house in the mountains um and that place is going to be really but again it's not quite i mean it's set up in terms of you can smoke there um but like it, nobody was really there so when we went in there like it didn't smell like weed like nobody was smoking and I saw a guy that was, uh, I saw a redhead there, a young redhead from Phil, a guy from Philadelphia. And I was very worried that he was going to get sunburned. And I told him your scary uh, face story. So he would wear lots of sunscreen because. That's good. It's very, he was very, he was very white. And uh, yeah, he said he was on it. And then I gave him a joint and then we smoked it after we had chicken and waffles. But that place will be very good once they install their hot tubs and get a swimming pool. So keep stay tuned for that. But overall, I would say Colorado is a great a great place uh, to visit if you're. Uh, I, guess, I guess it's pretty centrally located by its nature. Good. Yes. Yeah, I'm great. All right. <laughs> I'm super good. Tune in next year for when Wom or when uh, Cheapy visits another midwestern or southwestern mm. city. I don't like. When's that gonna happen? Really? Like, what? I what what did I miss? I don't think it is. What do I? It's what do me. I need to visit? Like to line them up for me. This is pretty like uh, you ever been to Chicago? Yes. Okay. I've never been to Chicago. It's a big city. Yeah, another place I've always wanted to go. Texas? Never been. Nope. Mm -mm. Have you ever been anywhere in Texas? Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. Why wouldn't go saw a lot of, in Texas? Saw a lot of Texas license plates though on this trip. For sure. Well, Texas, I don't know. It's very, very humid. Like at least it's hot here, but no, you know, it's very dry. You just have to drink a lot of water so you don't get dried out. Mm. Yeah, I was pretty weak to the altitude, though. Got tired pretty quickly. Milwaukee. Milwaukee, no. No? No. That's on it for you? No. Any no. of the of the sea cities in, in Ohio? <laughs> no. None of these places have legal weed of high quality. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's a pretty big I'll draw. I'll keep an eye out. Yeah, let me know. I don't think it's happening in Ohio anytime soon. Yeah. I bet Kentucky I, has some. I said, I've been to Kentucky, I've been to. Uh, oddly uh, enough. You really? For the fried chicken? Uh, I stopped there. I went because I went to Memphis. I know Shipwreck's been there. Spent many years there. Mm. Yes. I went to Memphis and Cincinnati. I've been there. I've been all through Ohio. But yeah, I haven't been to Colorado or New Mexico or Chicago. I don't know. The last three places you mentioned all have legal weed. The first yeah. three places do not. Well, this was also like 20 years ago. Anyway, are we doing show feedback? This, why is this so long? Why is what so? Oh, I the just feedback. I, oh my goodness, I don't have to read the whole thing. Right. Technique had to say, Cheapy, very excited to hear about your DJ lessons. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to you posting videos of yourself DJing, scratching of the f in the future. And he laughed out loud when I was fist bumping and imitating pseudo DJs. And then he goes on to say how much he likes the show. Uh, and, and we're great. He's and that he's been listening since episode one. There's so, some video on the Twitch channel that you can uh, list. We'll see some scratching if it's still there. Probably. Do you st have you finished your lessons? Or are you still? No, taking I haven't them? even started yet. I all, only have all two. done with the lessons. What's that? I don't know. All done with the lessons. I, don't no. know. I honestly don't remember when we brought it up. I only so, got um, I only got enough money for two lessons. So and I haven't taken any of them yet. Nice. Or even called the place. But maybe tomorrow I'm going to do that. Okay. I was on vacation. Welcome back. Get to work. Scratch it. <laughs> yes, I did scratch plenty of those since I've been back. Don't worry. Excellent. And Javery has to say, been a while since I posted, but I'm still listening to the podcast regularly. Just wanted to let you guys know that the show is super high quality and really entertaining. <laughs> is he joking? I hope not. And uh. now I know for sure you guys are cool since you mentioned enjoying Radiohead Kid Amnesia demo game thing. Uh, which is cool. It's on the PlayStation 5 and the PC, and it's free. Yeah, um, that is yeah. cool. He was a, at least a lawyer at some point, so he I think can't he still joke is. or yeah, lie, that's right. I believe. I think that's oh, I, how that works. Javery. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that it was Javery. Yeah, this is old school. These old are old school, school commenters. Wow. Oh, I see. Yeah. I didn't know there was a theme. You got to let me know the theme ahead of time. There's a I'm theme. A I was going to say it after, but you, you beat oh. me to the punch. Oh. Uh, and says, since I rarely have time for games these days, what is one recent must-play single-player game that you recommend? No first-person shooters or sports games. Oh, gosh. What's a good recent? Guardians of the Galaxy, maybe? No, fuck that. 
That's good. That's not good enough. It's too short, though. He needs something that he can sink his teeth into. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have time for games. That's why I I think it might work. Oh. All right. Did you finish that game, Cheapy? Yeah. I finished about half an hour of it or whatever. That, <laughs> and you're saying it's too short. <laughs> it too, <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. I think if you only get to say one game, you got to really like choose that game carefully. That's a good game. If okay. you like uh, sure. award winning, award winning game. And it's on Game Pass. Yes. So, you know, just throwing okay. it out there. Good I like one. that suggestion. Thank okay. you. Good. Ships behind you. Mm-hmm.